Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x4 test tent with another unboxing video. This one is uh, from Amazon. It's a company called Zanaki, I believe it is. Z Zanaki, Zanaki, Zanaki I'm going to go with. Uh, but uh, they contacted me and said, hey, you want to check this light out? Um, they're trying to compete with uh, Spider Farmer, basically, and some of the other companies out there. And um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this light. Um, I do have uh, all the uh, tools here, as usual. We've got the uh, the par meter, we got the meter meter, the heat meter, and the watt meter. I got baby katana, but I've been getting so many packages lately from Amazon that uh, <laughs> I opened this one up already. So. We'll just pretend that, bam, Baby Katana put in some work there, and uh, we'll just go ahead and open this up. There we go. Put that right there. All right. So, from Amazon, of course, it's always going to be double boxed. So let's pull that out of there. We'll throw this behind me here. And looks like Baby Katana is going to put in some work. Oh, actually, that's already open. Oh, I did open this because I wanted to see what it was. So I thought it was something else. All right, bam. <laughs> uh, I really have been ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon lately. This quarantine has got me uh, ordering all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. I'm sure, you guys are too. All right, let's see what we got. Aha! You can already see the Meanwhile Driver. Woo! Let's see what we got in the box. So there we go. Like I said, a Zanaki. It's a PB0101. Interesting. Let's see what the manual looks like. Take a look inside to show you how to hook it up what it comes with, the hang kit, all that good stuff. It does have a dimmer. Oh yeah. Gotta love the dimmer. Input voltage. Warning. See on the back side here. Boy, this thing's hard to manipulate with one hand. Holy shit. <laughs> there we go. Did not want to unfold. So here's some particulars. They actually have several different models. So there's a list of them there. And then you notice on the spectrum here, it's uh, got quite a bit. We've got lots of blue, we got some UV, we've got lots of red. Uh, this thing actually does have UV diodes on it. It's one of the few uh, that I've found of these smaller lights that has UV. It also has infrared and red, as well as 3000 and 5000K. So it's pretty complete. And here's the different models. This is the one they sent me. And they have a double size, quad, and then, holy crap, holy crap, six of them, a six panel? Damn, all right. So we get that out of the way. We got some rope ratchet. Rope, rope ratchet. We have a rope ratchet. I uh, usually like to see two rope ratchets in here. Uh, it is metal gear, so at least they give you one good rope ratchet uh, to hang it with. We'll probably go ahead and throw another rope ratchet in there uh, to hang it with, because I noticed they don't give two different things to hang with, so it is going to kind of spin, uh, and you're going to have to keep it stable with the cord, which is kind of a pain. So I would just invest in more rope ratchets. Uh, just need two of them, basically. And uh, let's see here. We got the dimmer over here. Well, that's a fatty dimmer. <laughs> that's a fat knob on that dimmer. Look at the action. Yeah, that's a fatty dimmer. There's a power cord. It's got the uh, secure screw-on disconnect. Water tight on both of them. Water tight. I like it. I 
like it, I like it. Let's pop this sucker out of here. There we go. Alright. So there's the bottom of the board. No, uh, no name on it. But you can see they do have the uh, waterproof slash water resistant coating on there, just like most of the companies do. Very clean look to it. Sharp looking. I dig it. Got all your red and UV and IR diodes. And then uh, meanwhile driver. And I think this thing is going to be a pretty kick-ass little, little light, honestly. Let's hook it up and find out. All right, I will be right back. All right, we are back and have this thing all hooked up. Dimmer and everything on top. It's got a really long uh, power cord to it. It's able to hook it up to everything up there, so. And still have plenty left over. Let's take a look at the uh, underside here. See what we are working with. So you can see right off the bat, we got, of course, the 3000 and the 5000. And then you got 660 reds. And then you've got infrared right there, that's the dim red. And then you've got UV right here. So yeah, it, uh, it definitely has all the bases covered. I'd like to see maybe a little bit more UV. I only see one, I think one infrared. So that looks like a regular red there. So one infrared, two UV, and then some red and a bunch of uh, cool white and warm white, basically, 3,000 and 5,000. But still, nice looking light. Very impressive that it has the UV. I'm, I'm actually really, really kind of shocked by that. A lot of these cheaper lights don't have the UV because the UV diodes are kind of expensive usually. So yeah, good looking light. Uh, another thing right off the bat that I noticed about this thing, um, it has really thick metal. Like this is probably the thickest metal sheet that I've tested, or one of the thickest at least. I think the Maxi Sun might have been as thick, but yeah, this is a, a thick thick board. And then they've got the risers for the uh, driver so that's not sitting on top of the uh, the back of the board here, heating up the diodes, which is always good. So yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, you guys see the, uh, the wattage that we're pulling right now. And uh, let's take a look and see what that's actually producing here. 124. Not too bad. Uh, that's enough to clone with. So at minimum setting, it's a clone light. Uh, imagine this is going to be a two foot by two foot light, and that is actually what they claim for flower uh, is two foot by two foot on the Amazon site. Actually, if you want to click the link to the Amazon site below, they have a ton of really good info on the light there. It's one of the best I've seen as far as uh, representing their light with tons and tons of info, and it's pretty accurate from what I've seen on all of it so really really cool uh, but we can uh, we can turn this sucker up it doesn't really have like a like a 50% or 100% or anything like that it's just got a dial so let's just uh, you guys see the watts and then you see the par here let's just turn it up see what happens see where we end up So right there is pretty good for veg, 300, 350, 400, 500, now we're hitting flower territory, and that's maxed out right there. So five, 507, so this is going to be at a, uh, 16 inches, again, like I always test, at 16 inches, just to show you here. 
16 inches. At 16 inches, at full blast, we're looking at just barely enough to create really good solid nugs. So let's check the, uh, the side here, the two foot edge, and see what we're looking at. Depends on your reflection, because if you don't have good reflection, it definitely goes down quite a bit, as you can see here. But if I have good reflection, the number goes up. Boy, it's hard not to get glare on there. There we go. So that's the side reading. Maybe about right there for middle, actually. So that's the two-foot edge. So not... Uh, not super strong. I think this one's actually going to have to come down uh, a few inches here to be super effective. Uh, but I do think it's going to be a two a two by two light. But let's uh, let's drop this down to say um, I'm going to say like 12 inches. And we'll see what it does at 12 inches. So I will be right back. All right. So here we are now back at uh, 12 inches here see that 12 inches and let's see what we're pushing it's still full blast BAM look at that 8 15 16 it's kind of swinging a little bit because I just touched it but that's that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome that is fat fat colas uh, anything above 600 is going to be killer. 800 is right on the brink of needing CO2 and excellent, excellent nutrient care uh, to even manage that. So this is this is really good. That's dead center in the middle. Let's check the, uh, the two foot edge from the middle here. A uh, little, little bit low. 360 because we did have to lower it down so much. Let's move it over a little bit. Let's let's give it the benefit of the doubt even. Let's let's angle it in a little bit. We'll see if it if it increases. Four hundred. Eh. Eh. <laughs> let's move it in a little here. So at least like four seventy on the edge. I'd say. So, bam, there's where we're at. So, it's looking kind of like this is ideally a one and a half by one and a half light. Ideally, at 12 inches. You might be able to go and play with it a little bit and go like 13 inches or something and maybe get a slight bit amount more uh, coverage out to the edge, but it's going to drop the middle quite a bit. So, it just depends. But it definitely doesn't like to go out to the two foot edge. That is one thing. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's check the other edge just for shits and giggles. Maybe it's a little uneven. Oh, there we go. 520. So that side, well, that side has the benefit of a wall. So that's one thing there. That has the benefit of a whole wall. This side over here is completely open. So if I had the tent closed, it might be there. So yeah, I mean, it, it's a close one, man. It really is. It's a close one. On this one, on a 2x2. On a two two. It really is. That's, uh, that's pretty decent, though. If you can go 800 in the middle and 500 on the edge, you are good to go. You are absolutely good to go. And I, I think it'll do it because of that side over there. Honestly. That's got the reflection. So that's that's pretty decent. And you can see the wattage it's drawing. Uh, it's got a good thick uh, heat sink. It's got the Meanwell driver. Uh, it is using the uh, LM301B diodes. So... <laughs> That's pretty killer, and it's got a good price on it. It's got a coupon, plus there's a discount code below. This thing is going to be pretty cheap out the door for you guys. So it's, uh, it's definitely a looker. 
Uh, let's let it heat up a little bit though and see what kind of readings we can get off of it and uh, we'll go from there. Another thing to keep in mind with this, it is a, uh, a rectangular light. So this, the going this way is going to be the least amount of coverage. So we can take it out to the side here and see what it'll do. There is no reflection out on this side though. So to get to uh, 500, you're just past the side of the light, but that should be around two feet. Let me grab my tape measure here. We'll see how much space that is. We go out to that much on each side. Twelve right in the middle. So two feet's gonna be out to here actually. So yeah, it definitely still needs the reflection. Definitely. But it is rectangular, so it is going to cover more that way. And you can see with the proper reflection on that wall, it did pretty well. All right, we are back. I've let this thing warm up for about an hour or so. And let's, uh, let's get some readings here. So right away, it is definitely running pretty warm. Um, I've tested other ones that were in the 115, 116 range. So it's a little bit... A little bit warmer than that. Check the uh, driver here. Actually about the same. See if we can find any hot spots here. Kind of under the driver maybe. If I can hit that. At 126, 127, yeah. So 127 under the driver there. So it definitely, uh, it definitely heats up, and it's got a sticker over here that says Scald Warning. You definitely don't want to put your hand on here, like I'm about to do. Holy shit. Yeah, that's so, yeah, 120 is hot. <laughs> that is definitely warm. Uh, you don't want to put anything on top of here. Um, I wouldn't even set these cables on top of here, to be honest. I would run all this stuff up, hang it off your rope ratchets, whatever you got to do, just keep it off of this thing. Um, I'll be shutting this down really quick, so I'm not going to be leaving these on here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it'd probably do some damage over time. But um, what I would recommend for this is in your 2x2 tent to just get a little uh, one of those clip lights, little clip onto the uh, the side pole. And you just clip that on and you point it at the top of this, so that it just blows air down across it and is able to cool it a little bit more, a little bit more efficiently. So it's gonna, it's gonna like that. It's gonna thank you for it. That's for sure. It'll make your diodes last longer. It'll make your driver last longer. It'll make everything last longer. Cooling makes all electronics last longer. I don't care if it's your PS4 or your grow light or your TV or anything, anything. If you cool it, it will last longer. So pretty good light overall though. I do like the, uh, the massive amount of spectrum that they include. It's not the uh, the brightest that I've seen in its class there for for the price range, but it uh, it definitely holds its own, and it it's something to be said for the amount of spectrum that this sucker has. You got far red, you got IR, you got UV, and it's a uh, it's got a really thick thick metal to it, and it's Meanwell Samsung. It's got a dimmer. It's pretty solid. It's pretty damn solid. So. Hope you guys like the uh, the review here. Uh, link below if you want to check it out a little bit more. Like I said, they have a lot of really good info uh, on the Amazon page. Uh, link below also for a discount code. And then I believe they also have a discount code in Amazon that you kind of click on. So see if you can stack those together. If you do, this thing is going to be a killer deal out the door. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, happy growing.